Live on your radio. Stream via the Nova player or play Nova on your smart speaker. This is Nova. I'm Marianne Harris. Good morning. The parents of a baby boy scalded with a flask of boiling hot coffee in a Brisbane park are urging the community to help identify the attacker. The nine-month-old was set upon by a random stranger who left him with burns to 60% of his body, including his arms, chest and face. He's since undergone surgery and remains in the Queensland Children's Hospital. Victorian detectives have seized more than 200,000 illicit cigarettes, thousands of vapes and hundreds of kilograms of loose leaf tobacco as part of an investigation into the alleged sale of illegal tobacco in Victoria. Police report the street value of the seizure is around $800,000. Authorities have shut a dam in the New South Wales Blue Mountains they believe has contaminated the water supply of 41,000 people in the World Heritage listed area with cancer-linked chemicals. Water New South Wales confirming PFAS has been traced to Medlow Dam It's been disconnected as a precaution. Australians are being urged to be vigilant when travelling overseas with the government issuing a warning over bird flu outbreak concerns. Strains of the infection are circulating Europe, Asia and North and South America. While there's no vaccine for the virus, authorities are advising Aussies to ensure their influenza vaccines are up to date. And Yellowstone lovers may be in for a treat. Negotiations are reportedly underway for a sixth season of the Taylor Sheridan series, despite it being set to end later this year. Now here's Mitch with Sport. Round 26 of the NRL kicks off tonight. The Cowboys home to the Storm. The minor premiers far outsiders resting 11 top stars as they prepare for the finals in two weeks. Aussie tennis star Rinky Hinchikata has been knocked out of the US Open in the second round, losing in straight sets to Grigor Dimitrov. Aya Tomjanovic also bowing out in straight sets. And Nikita Zhu has moved to 10 wins from 10 fights after overcoming Cohen Mazudia in Sydney last night. Zhu was described as exhausted at the end of the eighth round before coming out firing in the ninth to land a blow that end of the bout. The win will see Zoo enter the world rankings with the IBF and WBO. The industry school connects the world of education with the world of work. Enroll now for year 10 in 2025. Visit deliberatelydifferent.com.au for more info. Clear skies and a top of 32 degrees today. Right now it's 18 and you're up to date on Nova.